Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to sit down and film a video today. I pretty much just got home from work, thought I'd keep it pretty casual. Um, I've been doing a little bit of shopping here and there, so I thought I would do a little haul video. So over the weekend, I went to this store that we have here called Hakubundo, and basically it's like a Japanese stationery store that sells little trinkets, folders, pens, washi tape, that kind of stuff. And this store just happened to be doing this thing called Fukubukuro. So basically what Fukubukuro is, is a surprise bag. So I bought this bag, as you can see, for $40, and I don't know what's inside. I have had other purchases similar to this, but from different stores. Usually Fukubukuro happens around New Year's time. Um, a couple of the malls here do Fukubukuro and they could be from regular stores like Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, even Gucci, Salvatore Ferragamo does those mystery bags where you kind of go in, you purchase a bag. This one I bought for $40 but usually the contents of the bag are more than what it's priced at. So I think for this particular one, um, the contents are worth $60. But for some of the other ones that I participated in where I bought a mystery bag, the contents were at least half off or more than that. So I kind of felt like I was getting my money's worth even though it's a little bit of a surprise inside. So usually I go to the events that are on New Year's Day and I have purchased even some high-end items which luckily one worked out for me, the other one didn't, but I was able to easily sell the purse that I bought um, to someone online so that was totally fine I pretty much got my money back I've also picked up a couple of other items before from hair salons and things like that and really I feel like it's just kind of hit or miss ultimately it is just fun buying something that is going to be totally a surprise so I just wanted to go ahead and open this up and show you what I got so like I mentioned this is a surprise bag it's totally sealed up I don't know if you can see but it's stapled all the way across so there's no way for me to peek inside or anything like that there's barely any room for me to open the bag up as it is um, so I am just gonna pull out random items from here whatever I grab first since I have no idea what's inside this bag all right so I opened up the bag and the reason why I felt okay with buying this one is because it was $40 it wasn't as pricey as some other ones that I purchased and I also thought that the store generally carries things that I would probably like anyway I mean they have pens office supplies like cute stuff from Japan which I'm totally okay with but let's see if I actually got anything that I want in here so the first item that I pulled out of the bag is this mesh pen pouch um, I was looking for a price tag on it but there isn't one so I don't actually know how much this bag costs but I was looking for a new pen bag one that I can kind of see what's inside a little bit larger than the bag that I'm currently using so I think that I'm actually gonna be able to put this to use I'm glad that it's black and not any kind of crazy colors because who knows it could have been something that I didn't want so the next item that I have here is this green elephant oh it's a tape dispenser it was six dollars and thirty cents so I think it's pretty cute. So I just took it out of the wrapping and it looks like this. I think it's pretty cute. I definitely do need tape coming up because it's almost the holidays and I'm gonna be wrapping a lot of presents. Um, but yeah, here is my next item. And this one, like I mentioned, was $6.30. So next I pulled out this pen and it actually looks like just the outside of one of those clickable pens. Um, I did dig through the bag and I found one ink thing that you can put in here so that you can write so I can write in the color orange but it actually looks like this will hold four different colors of these in there um, I'm actually pretty happy because blue is my favorite color so I can definitely go into the store pick up three more ink refills I guess that's what you would call them um, but I mean I feel like this is a pretty good choice I can put in a whole bunch of different colors maybe take it to work or use it in my bullet journal so anyways I'm looking forward to using this one Sorry, I forgot to mention the pen also didn't have a price on it. Okay, so now I have, I don't really know what this is. I used to be able to read Japanese a lot better, but now I can't. It looks like something that you could probably write like memos or something on it. On the back it says like memo and to do and something that's kind of like a bummer. It says for use only in Japan. So can I not use this here? Is it like not gonna work for some reason? I don't know if this is supposed to let me write on it and then maybe it syncs to something on the internet. I'm really not sure. I guess I'll open it up and figure out what this is a little bit later and probably have to use Google Translate to figure out what all of these characters mean. I can make out things here and there, but I don't know what it actually means as a word, unfortunately. But anyways, this is what I got. Next. All right, so now this is the second to the last item, but this is something by Lego. I don't know exactly what this 
does. It looks like I could probably use it sort of as a bookmark. There's like a little picture over here. It says journal band. I think it holds your place like where it is, like holds the pages together. And maybe I could put some Legos on here. I don't know. This looks pretty fun. I actually don't really play around with Legos or have Legos. I haven't had Legos in a long time anyway. I mean, that's kind of a lie. I just put together some Star Wars Legos, but they're really tiny and I don't think they'll stick on here. But um, this is pretty fun. I mean, if you're someone who likes Legos or need a break from the day and you want to like play around and plug some of those guys on here, um, I definitely think this is pretty cool. This one is $21. So I feel like 21 plus the elephant that was $6.50 plus I'm getting all this other stuff. So I'm sure the other items that I have here is worth more than $14. But I have one more item, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what that one is. Okay, so this is the last item that I pulled out of the bag. This one has a price tag on it, and it says bonus item. This was $9.90. Um, not really something I would buy, but maybe I could give it to somebody who likes anime or something. It looks like a photo album, and it has little spots in here where you can write what the pictures are for. I don't have a lot of photos, to be honest with you. This is not something that I would use, but I can definitely give it away to somebody else, maybe a friend or something like that. I don't know anyone who's interested in this, but I'm sure I can find someone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for this super quick video. I hope you enjoyed it and were as surprised as I was as I did my little surprise bag unboxing. You know, I just realized that I have social media accounts like Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on social media, I will leave a link to that down below. Um, I also have been kind of placing that on the screen somewhere on the sides in case you're wondering what that is, um, you can definitely go ahead and give me a follow. I update that on a kind of regular basis. I mean, if you do want to keep up with things that I'm doing, that's probably the best place to look. But anyways, I did want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it maybe gave you some kind of entertainment. Um, I'm looking forward to using some of these items like the tape dispenser, the pen case, and the pen and I'm looking forward to choosing some additional colors that I can add in there. But anyways, I will stop rambling on and let you get on with your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!